All right, let's talk about taking a soil sample. Obviously, we talked in the room a little bit about proper sampling and that the sample is the real key to a successful and a high quality soil test result. As I said, a good sharpshooter is a fine way to go. Clean it up a little bit. Uh, remember that iron is a ubiquitous element and so we don't worry too much about having a little rust on the shovel. Probably not gonna matter in terms of your soil test result. But get it clean. If it's had any manure or anything else on it, you want something that doesn't have a lot of residue. What I've done here is just dug out my hole. Typically, you can mark this to about six inches. So you've got a good clear view. Dip yourself out the little V-shaped hole. Back your shovel up one inch or so. There you go. There's a good sample. You got surface to about six inches. You can take a little putty knife or something like that, knock those edges off. Nothing really difficult about this, right? You don't want the roots, you don't want the rocks, you want to get down to the mineral soil, right? So you've got a nice little core here, roughly inch or two inches wide, inch, inch and a half in thickness, and six inches deep. That, folks, is what goes in that first bucket. There's our zero to six. That's the first of your 12 cores, okay? Easy to take, right? Fairly simple. Again, when you've got good moisture conditions, it's not a problem at all. The alternative and my preference is this device. Again, already pre-marked. You come in, you pop your core, and you're done. That's how fast you just got your sample, okay? There's number one of your 12 to 15 cores that you're going to put into that bucket, right? For each individual management area. And again, it's management area based. The area has to have similar soils. It has to be managed similarly over time, right? The same crop basically grown on that particular area. Now, as I said, you can buy the Cadillac model like this one. This has the foot peg little bit more expensive but certainly makes it easy again this one's pre-marked too at 6 and 12 inches just like the other one so when you finish taking the first sample if you know you have soil variation with depth simply go in and take that second core there you go there's your 6 to 12 it would go in the second bucket at each of your 12 to 15 locations you pull those two cores Blend those up, they go into the laboratory as two separate samples, right? You'll have an 0 to 6 and a 6 to 12. For each field or each management area, you want to send those two separate samples. If your soil is fairly uniform with depth, you may just do the 0 to 6. But if you've got a significant textural change with depth, there is money in that soil, okay? Particularly if you've been fertilizing over several years, you've got nutrients deeper in the profile that you can take advantage of. If you're on a heavy clay soil and you have trouble getting those samples to come out, get some just plain old vegetable oil. Spray the probe liberally. It does not influence the soil test result, okay? That's better than WD-40. You can use that if you don't have any of the other, but vegetable oil really works very well.